Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with 5 gaming moments that made us laugh. I've got a Hitman video planned for the weekend, but I wanted to release something for you midweek as well, and what better than a super creative list video. You know we're all about that juicy original content. If you enjoy this video, please marry your best mate's mum so you can become his stepdad and then try to use your parental influence to force him to watch all of my videos, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. So us gamers love a good meme, and a popular joke is to prioritise video games above girlfriends and wives. Call of Duty YouTuber FaZe Sensor took this to an entirely new level when he became the meme and broke up with his girlfriend Yannette Garcia. You know, the famous Mexican weather girl who everyone knows because she is so passionate about being a meteorologist. Anyway, FaZe Sensor wanted to pursue playing Call of Duty professionally, so he was like lol, bye Yannette, I'ma go call in a UAV on the MLG main stage. And then she was like, player please, your quick scopes last longer than you do. Okay, I made that last bit up, but the moral of the story is to put video games above everything, even thick love. Watching an IGN game review is like watching a cooking show, but instead of Gordon Ramsay, it's me standing there telling you that your frittata needs more salt, but the catch is, I've never cooked a frittata. They give Call of Duty close to 10 out of 10 every year. They also do completely ridiculous things, like a couple of months ago when they reviewed Resident Evil 2. In a nutshell, there were two halves to the game, and the dodgy reviewer accidentally played the same half twice, and then complained in his review that the game was too repetitive. A 1000 IQ play right there. Anyway, my favourite IGN review is when they gave a Pokemon game a 7.8 rating with the key complaint being that there was too much water. This has since been turned into a meme, but I think the woman who reviewed this game needs to understand how important water and staying hydrated really is. Hydration not only maximises peak physical performance, but it also has a major effect on brain function. Perhaps it's time IGN purchased a water cooler for their office so that their employees can drink up, stay hydrated, and stop publishing bullshit reviews. Most of you legends will be familiar with Patrick Soderlund and the provocative statements he said in the build-up to Battlefield 5's launch. There were quite a few bangers, like when he called a large portion of fans uneducated in the midst of all the drama. Now I'm no marketing expert, but I did take a marketing class during my studies and this conduct is what the experts call really f dumb. My favourite though was when he explained that his daughter had queried why she couldn't play as a woman in Battlefield 5, but she could play as a woman in Fortnite, and he was like, oh my god, true. Like the whole thing was just so ridiculous. It's a World War 2 game, but if you want to include women, just do it, and say that's the direction you want to go in. Don't say that your child gave you a real stinger of a question, and that was the catalyst for why all pilots and tankers are now locked on female characters. Women are legendary and they did many brave and inspirational acts during World War II, but almost all of the frontline fighting was done by men. Anyway, I found this funny, but at the end of the day, Patrick Soderlund must be worth well over $100 million, and he is probably flying above my flat right now in a helicopter, explaining to his daughter that Hitler was a woman. The notorious No Russian mission from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 had players pose as a Russian terrorist and storm an airport mowing down civilians with LMGs. Of course, all of the freedom fighting game journalists who were all on paleo diets and identify as non-binary librarians kicked up an outrage about the inappropriateness of this mission. I don't know if everyone found this funny, but I sure did. The media just loves blaming video games for the world's problems, when in reality, the the real reason for all the world's problems is Ninja's gay hair. Every time he changes the colour of it, global warming intensifies and an orphan dies. Anyway, so many studies have been done to try and correlate video game violence with aggression in youth, and on a large scale across many different studies, they've never found any real proof. In fact, there is some evidence to show that as the youth play more video games, there has been a decrease in violence. Probably because they are all inside their rooms verbally abusing each other on their headsets and browsing the dark web. So something light but classic to wind up the video. At the Game Awards a couple of years ago, Zachary Levi went to read out one of the awards and, well, this happened. And the Game Award goes to, Oh man, I have to pay a microtransaction to unlock. That's so... 
stupid that this has to, hold on, I got this, guys, here we go. Who doesn't enjoy seeing microtransactions get roasted? Wow, it sure does seem like I couldn't think of a fifth point for this video, and so I just showed a mildly entertaining clip I ripped off YouTube. I'ma just change this channel name to Modest Pelican Reacts. Anyway, I hope you are all having a good week. Thanks for watching, you bloody legends, and a massive thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel. See you on the weekend. <laughs> Sounds so lame. See you on the weekend. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.